Hello everyone and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia and this is Taiko, your host. And today I have with me a game from Draco Ideas, a Spanish company that I like an awful lot because they do some very cool stuff. And the game's called Sector 6, um, which is a game by Jaime González that plays is uh, one to six players, um, eight ages or more, and is 45 minutes long. But although this game has been out for a bit, okay, and Taiko wants to leave now, and I'm covered in here, is this game actually worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it? Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. Sector 6 came onto Kickstarter a few years ago where I did an unboxing of the prototype at the time, but I haven't really seen what the final product looked like and now I have the final thing on me. I love the uh, cover, I have to say, because it portrays very nicely the science fiction uh, sort of um, having to run and escape from the moving and ever-changing maze that this game is all about. So uh, it's, it's a nice palette, it could do with a little bit more impact, uh, but I do like the atmosphere that it portrays, it's, it's quite nice. On the back, because this is a very language independent game, you can have it in all of these different languages and the promise of 10 minutes included in this little box. I also point out that this was the finalist in some fairly prestigious awards in Spain, so that that is good. It already comes with some good reference. So let's find that inside the box, what we find. Nice box, it's the standard, but at least it's not a, you know, cereal box thickness kind of box, which is very nice. This is the other way around, and this is the other way around as well, and somebody's shaking this. Okay, so. What do we get here? We get three little books. The rule book, the visual guide, and the game variants, which is interesting. Let's take a look first at the rule book. And the rule book is in all the languages. So considering how many pages it has, it means that it's not going to be a very complicated game. So, uh, because each language takes Seven pages. Okay, that's good. Layout, it's all right, very professional. I actually like it. Uh, font is a bit small, but as in very thin. But I quite like it. Very thematic, I like the little component, you know, details all over the place, which is pretty cool. And introduction, game components, first games. Okay, I like this. First games. Before playing a full game of Sector 6, it's recommended to play a few games using the entry-level mazes that can be found in the visual guide. Later on, players will be able to build their own mazes. In Sector 6, you can find other easier game modes for children or less experienced players. This is very good. I like that, uh, that there is a progression in the difficulty that you can have in the game. Firstly, it increases the replayability, and secondly, it decreases the frustration of having to learn and offload the rules from the start, which is very nice. That I like. Game set up, enter the maze competition, and then gear system, end of game, and then the full game. So, okay, these can be learned in about half an hour. Brilliant. Very brilliant. Visual guide. What's in the visual guide? Oh, loads of photos. Okay. I don't understand this. Oh, I know. No, I do understand this. That's clever. Oh my God, that's very clever. You have here all the images that are meant to come in the rule book. So you're thinking, so wait a second, I have to be referencing another booklet where this thing could be here. But yes, except that this way they save from having to publish every single image in one, two, three, four, five languages. 
one booklet, five languages. That's clever. It's a little bit more painful for us to be able to do it, but you have loads of mazes and yeah, that, that's actually rather clever. And then game variants. I'd start in English, that's good. I like it, I like it. So we get team mode for four players, for five players, for six players, and a solitaire variant, which is very nice indeed to be incorporated. So, promising indeed. And very clever idea, I still like it. Okay, so tokens, lots of them. Oh, this is nice and thick. And I cannot bend them easily. And they come out of their sprues so nicely. And they're not centered, but that's okay. I can live with that. Because there are an awful lot of them. So, lots of token. Mm -hmm. Nice. And they, they're going to come in the insert. The box comes with an insert, by the way, which is quite nice. Um, I'd be very surprised if you put all these things lovingly here and then you put the lid on and then you open the box again and they're still in the same place. I would be very surprised. But miracles do happen. Just not to me. And then we get the tiles that are going to conform the maze that we're going to build. I'm going to have to try to escape from and they come out just as easily and just as nicely. So you can build a maze and you have interconnecting and then you have um, not interconnecting as in you have locked spaces so you can do this but then you cannot go because that's that's a wall and walls you know you can go through walls because that would mean you have superpowers and you don't and we have a lot of these this back. Oh. to build all the mazes so we have 6 12 and 12 24 And 12, 36, and 4, 40 tiles to make huge mazes. And I wonder if you could join more than one of these games and make a mega maze and be amazing at it. Uh, the insert, plastic, very nice. Again, I don't think that that is going to hold the tokens, but that's how the cookie crumbles. And then we get the minis, which are actually quite nice. And they're not all the same, though they are very similar. But I, I like the poses. The poses are very cool. And if I may say so myself, my dear viewers, that is a lovely shot from the overhead camera. So um, anyway, that's that's what you get. Uh, do I think this is worth it? Again, Draco Ideas, as you might have seen when I unboxed uh, Scope Stalingrad, it gives us a progression where you can enjoy the game from a very simple way and then increase the difficulty and the complexity of the rules to increase the player and replayability, which is absolutely brilliant. If I remember correctly, this game actually plays nicely, very nicely. And the only problem that I remember having with this is that if you play a two-player, you can have a stalemate kind of uh, situation until you make a mistake, which it could be quite annoying. I don't know if that's still the case and if they have amended the rules to avoid that. But to be honest, if that's the only problem I could find with this, I would feel confident recommending this. So. I will take a look. I am going to. Uh, as soon as I've played, as I've played it, um, either solo or with my friends, I will give you my full impressions and full reviews. So um, remember to check back from time to time. Okay. 
Uh, thank you so much for being there. Um, believe it or not, it is genuinely and truly appreciated. And I will be talking to you very soon indeed. Take care.